The state fair attracts people from all over New Mexico, but some of them are not supposed to be there because of things they've done in the past. Now that's where probation and parole comes in. News 13's Amanda Goodman tagged along with those officers at the fairgrounds today. From games to food and rides. The state fair is chock full of good, clean fun for people of all ages. It's, it's, it's really being really family friendly. And New Mexico's probation and parole officers want to keep it that way. If they're looking a lot, that's a problem. We're also looking for people who get eye contact with you and then immediately try to avoid you in some way. That's why they're fanning out and keeping an eye out for people who are not supposed to be here. I'm from the sex offender unit. I have two um, recent absconders who are out who are missing. Um, both of them I'll be checking for tonight. But it's not just sex offenders they're interested in. See that list? It has 60 of the most wanted absconders on it. There's their violent offenders, their gang offenders, um, lots of drug charges. Offenders that might just turn up here because they don't expect to get caught here. It's a state fair though. Who doesn't go? Everybody wants to go. Their kids want them want to go. So they're kind of pressured to be here. One of the perks of having probation and parole officers here at the fair is that they work with these offenders all the time. So they're able to spot them in a sea of people. And they say it works. Last year they caught two absconders in just one night. Let's cruise through in this area because my guys would be over here. And they're hoping the streak continues. Amanda Goodman, KRQE News 13. Now at last check, they had not tracked anyone down tonight. Officers will be out tomorrow as well because weekend nights are the busiest.